From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, here's something pretty cool. One year from today, we're going to have a total, sooner, lo, lo, total solar eclipse. I'll get that out one point, at some point. Uh, across parts of the area. We're going to be in a zone that we'll be able to see it. The path of the totality, though, will uh, be down in southeast Oklahoma through central and northern Arkansas. So if you want to see that in its fullness, you'll have to travel just a bit to the south, but we'll be able to see it awfully well here. But that path of totality includes Ida Bell, Broken Bow, uh, right on the edge of Poto and Tallahena, so, uh, Fort Smith, Green Weary, right on the edge of that as well, Antlers, Hugo. Uh, so just be aware of that. In the rest of the Green Country area, we're going to talk about 90%. So that's going to be pretty similar to that one we had a few years ago, where the, the center of that was a little further to the north. We, we were around 90, 92% then. So uh, that's going to be something pretty cool. Once again, that's a year from today. In the meantime, we have Easter morning tomorrow. Temperatures cool, but not too bad. We'll warm into the mid 50s by nine o'clock. Light southeast winds, so that's pretty good. Temperatures right now still hanging out in the 60s all the way up to Lincoln, so that's pretty crazy. 57 in Minneapolis. As we take a look further to the east, notice Minneapolis warmer now than Atlanta. Don't see that too often this time of year, but we do have that kind of cold air mass that's kind of back down into the eastern United States. A storm system moving through and that's led to some rain and that really disrupted the masters. We're quiet across our part of the country, but we have all that rain in the east and the southeast that should be exiting. We should get a much better day for golf as we head into tomorrow. So that's good because they have a lot of golf to play to make up for today. Storm system rolls into the area tomorrow afternoon out in our western areas, western half of the state. Showers and a few storms possible. We'll see a chance in eastern Oklahoma as we head into Monday. It'll be widely scattered. Temperatures will be pretty warm as we're kind of in between this low to the east and some high pressure system that's going to be out to the west. We'll see temperatures that'll be, once again, pretty good. And then as we head into next weekend, another system rolls through the region that'll provide us with more rain chances and then probably a little bit of a cool down behind that the way things look right now. In the meantime, things are cooling off this evening. Temperature at 62. Winds are calm. Those temperatures will continue to slide down into the 40s. As we look at the rest of the state, generally 40s to 50s to low 60s in a few locations. So most, most of us right now hanging out in the 50s. Looking at our future view solution overnight tonight, it keeps us quiet. Here comes that storm system, that weak system moving into the west. As we head into the afternoon, showers and storms will be scattered in nature in western Oklahoma. Some of those could provide some heavy rainfall, which is much needed out there. Otherwise, we'll be in the 70s with a mix of sun and clouds. Then Monday morning, 50 or so with some of that activity moving to the east. And we'll see some widely scattered showers and embedded rumble. But notice, not very widespread. But don't be surprised Monday if you do see a shower or a storm. Most of the rain with this over the next seven days. Once again, where we need it, out to the west, a half an inch to maybe locally an inch with some of these heavier storms. So fingers crossed for that for our friends out to the west. And then next weekend, we get another system that'll move in. We also will see temperatures warm up as we head towards next weekend before that next system moves through and provides with more rain and a possible cool down at that point in time. Here's your uh, nine day forecast. 74 tomorrow, showers in western Oklahoma. Some of that activity moves eastward on Monday. We'll see slightly cooler temperatures and then we'll start that gradual warming trend towards 80 by around Thursday or Friday with lots of sunshine really for a balance of the week before things could potentially become slightly unsettled next weekend followed by cooler air early the next week. That's it for your forecast. Now let's uh, get a check of what's going on in sports.